This veggie burger has only 165 calories and 15 grams of protein. How crazy is that? If you want to know how easy and quick it is to make, then you should keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. We are about to make a vegetarian burger today because it's been a while since we've made something vegetarian on this channel. It's not me again because we are going to be using egg whites and we're also going to be using some low-fat cheese for this recipe. But it's super delicious, super easy. So Nutrition Babe who created the pizza crust recipe, I know she also uses it for other things. So I thought today we should try to make burger buns off of it. This will take you no time. It's super low in calories, super high in protein, and let's just get into it. But before we do that, please hit me with a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let's get cooking. So depending on how many burgers you make, you can obviously add it up like times four, times 10, times 100, depending on how many burgers you're feeling. To make it really easy, I'm just gonna create one burger bun so that it'll be easier for you to recreate as many of those as you want. So all that we need for this one burger bun is three tablespoons of egg whites. Then we need one teaspoon of cornstarch. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of Himalayan salt and a little bit of basil. You don't have to do this. I just like it with that. And then we will need an electric whip to beat the eggs. I know that a couple of people had a hard time beating their eggs and I went online and researched and I heard that it's just important to make sure that the eggs are pretty fresh and that your electric whip is going at the highest speed. And it may take up to 10 minutes. So just be patient with it. You got it. It's like definitely sticking, which means that they've been beaten well enough. Time to put them in the oven. And when they're done, it's time for burgers. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of sesame seeds on there because I feel like that makes it a little burgery. 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I found these earth grown vegan veggie burger patties that have 11 different veggies and I'm just gonna place one of those in the oven. For toppings, we're just using a little tomato, onions, some fat-free cheese, and some mustard. Yummy! So, our burger buns are ready. They got 15 minutes in the oven and so did the patty. And then I made some chips on the side. between eating one burger or five burgers, what would you choose? I would choose five. And also, when you then find out that it has so much higher protein, so much less saturated fat, and it's so delicious and it's vegetarian, then it's just a lucky day, isn't it? Mm-mm-mm. Mmm! Mm. Let me add sesame seeds because I'm tasting them and it is a good taste. If you don't believe me about the macros, then you can check out the screenshot of my fitness pal calculations right here. And the macros for what it would be at the Cheesecake Factory will also be popping up on the screen just so that we can compare. People used to say to me that I probably don't eat a lot, but the thing is that when we're conscious of what we put in our bodies, like this one, we can eat five times as much. And I like that. I wanna continue doing that. And that's why I'm making these recipes so that you could do it too. All right, you guys, I'm gonna finish my burger. Please let me know in the comments what you'd like for me to create next, what you'd like to see next, if you have any questions so that I can try my best to answer anything that you are wondering about, anything that I hopefully could help you with. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you for watching, bye.